Hi boys and girls, today's art is um, a bird feeder. You can use lots of different containers. You could use a milk jug, you could use a juice container. Whatever you have empty at home will work. Just make sure you clean it out first. Then you make a big hole for the bird to go in and you'll make a smaller hole for your spoon to go out. This is an old spoon that of mine that I said would have seen better days. It's starting to get colored in it and everything. So I decided this would be a good thing to recycle. The spoon's no good for cooking anymore, so we'll recycle it. Now, with the paint, I already did some of the paint. I think it will need two coats. I painted one coat. And when I do the paint, I actually put glue in it. So I put, um, the, the, I'll show you what, when I do the next color, how I put the paint in the, in the, um, the glue inside the paint. That just makes it help it stick to the plastic more and not run down the sides. Um, so I do recommend to, to put the glue in your paint. It makes it a lot easier because um, plastic is slippery and we don't want the paint running down it. So yeah, definitely needed a second coat. I would definitely recommend the second coat. It looks way better now with the second coat on. Then now I'll show you for the next color how I made it. So all you need is some paint. And I put the paint in like that. Then I take the glue. It doesn't matter if it's clear glue or white glue. Either, either one works. And I squeeze that in like that. And I take a paintbrush. And we mix it together. And that just helps it cling to the, to the birdhouse. So, and then I'm gonna paint my walls pink. You can paint, you know, whatever colors you have at your house, whatever you like. This one, after I'm done, I'm gonna use a permanent marker and draw some windows, um, maybe some flowers on it. So. And like I said, it probably will need a second coat for all your paint. Um, you won't be able to do it in one coat. And then once you paint all the sides, and let it dry. Then you're going to take some bird seed. I got a little scoop here to make it easier for me. And you put, oops, put that inside. And the spoon is so the bird can stand on it. Maybe one more scoop, I think. There we go. And then, oh, I forgot my string. Well, you just need to take string or, or wire and unscrew the top. Oh, there we go. Wrap the wire around here or the string right on below the lid and then when you put the cap back on it will definitely stay there and the squirrels can't try to chew it off because it's underneath your thing and then you will hang it in a tree and now you have your own bird feeder that's it for today thanks for coming